Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys coming by the channel to hang out with me and watch the video. Always uh, grateful for that. And guys, today I have got a really cool, simple modification. I'm going to show you how to do with a rib swim bait here, any size rib swim bait, but I can promise you guys it's going to add up to some more strikes for you guys. It's going to take just an average looking swim bait and turn it to something that looks super edible to the fish. So we're going to get into that in today's video. I'm also, guys, I will link everything in, the, in my Tackle Warehouse description that I'm talking about in the video here. And also, they've got some really cool sales going on right now. So if you guys want to check out my Tackle Warehouse link in the description here, it's a good way to get some good gills on tackle and support the channel at the same time. So much appreciated on that. Okay, guys, this is one of the most common YouTube topics out there. You hear a lot of people out there talking about um, rib swim baits, rib swim baits, flukes, chatter baits, all that type of deal. But very seldom do you see uh, modifications on them. A lot of times you just see, you know, techniques about how to fish them. Now, one of the things that I found out about modifying lures is I modify about everything. It's like there are very few lures that I throw out of the package that I don't do something to it. I mean, if it's a hard bait, I usually put some gills on it or color it up a little bit. Same with a soft plastic. There are very few that I don't modify because I have found out that through modification, you can simply get more bites. You can increase the action. You can increase the visual appeal of a bait. And it also gives you confidence. Guys, do not underestimate the amount of confidence that you can get from having a lure that you know that a lot of people don't have. And that's one of the things this modification is gonna give you guys. It gives you a bait that you can't buy in the store. It gives the fish a different look. So one of the things about that, before we get into the modification, is you gotta think about this. Think if It doesn't matter where you guys buy your tackle at. It's like the the big box tackle retailers, it's like they, they have a product line out there that you know has popular items and a lot of people buy those. And you know, so you got hundreds of thousands of anglers buying the same color and those fish get conditioned to it. So anytime you can do something different, it's gonna add up. So here's the simple modification I'm gonna show you guys. Now we're gonna do a before and after. I'll, I'll hold you up the, the one before. Now this particular one, this is just a, a zoom uh, swimmer here. Just the zoom swim bait here, rib swim bait. Um, I'm going to show you that before and after. And the, the, this is what I, I do to it. We, a lot of you guys that have watched the channel, you've seen some of this before, but not all of it. But the first thing you want to do on any rib swim bait is these, most of these have quite a bit of salt in them. Like the Zoom has salt and the Kytec even has more salt in it. So you want to rough these things up to break that salt up. Now what this does is when you rub it like this, it not only makes the bait softer because it's breaking up the so the plastic that's been impregnated, uh, the salt that's been impregnated in the plastic. So it actually gives the bait better action, but also by, br by breaking that salt up, it brings the salt up to the top of the bait and it gives the bait a little bit different look. Plus roughing it up, see how I've roughed it up there a little bit guys, it looks like it's sort of gnarly. That imperfection is a big deal to the fish. I mean, you can believe it if you don't want to, believe it or not, but I know that makes a difference. So I, I always want my baits roughed up to where they look like they've been chewed up a little bit. Now, the next thing that you do, get you a spike it marker here. Like I said, I'll link everything in my tackle warehouse here. And you notice on these rib swim baits, most of them, they've got a, it's like a two-tone. You can see the top of this one, <clears throat> the different color from the belly. You take this, um, chartreuse marker and you draw the line with the chartreuse right along where that um, separation is. <coughs> Excuse me. Just, just draw a line straight across from there like that. And um, I'm going to show you the difference this thing makes here. And then also you finish it off, but on the tail there, you want to put just a little puff on it. A lot of people get carried away and they you know, dye the whole tail, but you don't want to do that. Just, just a little bit of coloration there to the end. And that's the cool thing about using these pins, guys, is you can be really precise with it. So let me finish up on this other side here. But I just, I usually, I just love tinkering with baits as far as getting them a little bit different. So here's the look that you got on it. I see that little chartreuse in there bleeding in with the chartreuse tail. Now look at the difference on the two guys. Here's the stock right out of the package. This is, these are the exact same baits. Here's the stock one I'm holding up right here. And here's the modified one next to it. 
Now I'm telling you right there, that makes a big difference. You may not think it does, but just that little bit of coloration onto the bait right there add, was gonna add up to a lot more fish for you. So, so I think it, what a lot of it sort of looks like, it, you know, the chartreuse will act as a, an attractor from a distance, but sometimes, especially if you're fishing these in shallower water, you know, mimics the perch more anytime you got in there. This is actually one of the modifications my buddy Aaron Martin showed me about drawing along that bloodline there. I've always used the tail, but Aaron showed me how to mark the sides on it, you know, over 20 years ago. Anyway, guys, simple modification. You can do that on a lot of different lures. You can do it on different swim baits too. You can do it on the Mega Bass Magdraft or, you know, any type of larger swim bait, but I've had the best success on it with just the rib swim baits like this. So anyway, give it a try. I think it'll help you guys get some more bites and we'll tune in later. We'll check later.